<laughs> Sketchy. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This is Josh. And today I'm drawing uh, the magical human, John Candy, the great. Uh, I'm a huge fan of John Candy. I loved SCTV. I loved him in the uh, Hughes movies. I loved him in everything. Uh, he was truly an amazing person and a great performer and a warm and, and uh, gentle giant, and he is greatly missed. So I am drawing a portrait today. Um, this is a little more vulnerable. This doesn't always go well, <laughs> drawing a likeness. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of work to, to make a, a cartoon or a drawing as well, but when you're trying to capture the, uh, the likeness of a, of a specific person, a human face, uh, it presents a challenge, but it's a challenge that I enjoy, and I like capturing uh, the faces of people who make me happy. So this is uh, this is a long journey here, uh, sped up, of course, but um, this doesn't quite take shape until later on. And then even between the end of the video and the final image, which I'll, I'll put up at the end, there was another, another couple little stages of, of tweaking and... and uh, I couldn't help thinking through this whole process, and even in the final drawing, that uh, my drawing sort of looks more like Roger Ebert than John Candy, but um, I keep plugging away at it. So if you follow me on social media, uh, especially Instagram, you'll see that I've drawn hundreds and hundreds of faces. I'm kind of obsessed with, with drawing these portraits. And so uh, doing that uh, over time, you know, I uh, you start to learn things you spend a lot of time in the minutia the details of of the human face and you start to realize things like the shadow under the nose or the way that uh the way that the eyes and the way that especially the under eye the way that in some faces like john candy's here the way that the bottom eyelids kind of push up into the into the eyes is, it can be a key to capturing the essence of a person there's something different of course in every visage in every face there's something specific and special that that um makes that face recognizable and uh there's also surprises in even figuring that out sometimes you would think that a character you know their nose or their teeth or their crazy hairstyle or whatever is going to be the key and then you, if you really spend time chipping away at it you might be surprised to discover something that you didn't consciously notice until you got down in in the details so with John Candy, um, having glasses really helps uh, on portraits. If I, if a person wore glasses and if I can find a good picture of them with glasses, and it just kind of gives uh, like a, it's like an anchor for the rest of the face. It kind of gives a, uh, it, it's a little bit of a crutch, but it kind of helps place the placement of, of facial features. It becomes easier to, to plot out, if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, you know, with John Candy, he's got, this very kindly, uh, kind of meaty Midwestern mouth that I think is is a, a key. And of course, he's got this big round face. He's jovial. He's uh, soft. He's uh, appealing. You know, he had a great smile, John Candy, a real genuine warmth that uh, really came through on screen. Um, and so here I am. I'm already in the inking stage. I think that I think the lips and the teeth. Are, are really um, maybe in, in most cases more important than anything else in capturing a likeness. You can see this, the ink stage really took this thing far in terms of the likeness. The, pe the blue pencils were not there at all, but um, I, I've learned to kind of stick with it and uh, you know keep keep at it. Not that I don't scrap pictures. Some of them don't make it. Some of them I'm, I give up. Sometimes I just, uh, I have to walk away and come back, but um, Usually I persist, and then things eventually start to come together. This is not perfect, um, but uh, I'm almost done here with this first draft, and then you'll see the finish image uh, uh, popping up in a moment. Thanks for your time. Uh, I do welcome suggestions of people or faces or characters or anything uh, weird that you'd like to see. No guarantees that I can do it or that I'll get to your comment, but I'd love to hear from you. So, all right, see you next time. Bye.